Baxter to sell him on. I, I agree totally with you. We've got, uh, Johnny on the phone now. Johnny, what would you like to say? Well, just, uh, I'm not quite sure what you said before, actually. I've just caught up with the programme, but I'd just uh, like to reinforce the point about there's absolutely no reason to start talking about a replacement for Mancini in, uh, this summer. I think we should just get behind him. Uh, this is the start of a new era for us, and uh, let's just uh, all just concentrate on the next four games and forget about, uh, you know, possible replacements. Certainly. That's my simple point. Certainly agree with that. You know, with four games to go, uh, I think we should certainly be concentrating on the rest of the season before we even contemplate thinking about changing a manager. Um, I, I wouldn't be changing the manager. We've had a text message coming in here from Johnny Crossan and he's, he's backed up your, your point. He's put on behalf of all the tub thumpers, may I suggest that we get behind Roberto and the team. Uh, this is the start of a new era. No point in talking about a replacement in the summer, which backs up. It, I'd, I'd just like to, to step in there, Dan, because we've had a bit of a message from the producer next door. Uh, this is Johnny on the phone. Oh, super duper. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, I was agreeing with that guy, you know, 100%. He, so, talks, uh, he talks a lot of sense, doesn't that's he? That's even better. That's brilliant. Yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I really, uh, I, I really feel that, you know, some people are just, uh, you know, are, are just failing to see the, uh, the, the big picture here. I mean, such a lot has happened in such a short time. And we, uh, and we've got an opportunity that no other club's got. I think, uh, something else we need to mention as well, um, is Mancini's come in halfway through the season. And, you know, with Mark Hughes we were up near the top of the league, with Mancini we're up near the top of the league. This is the highest we've been, you know, in my lifetime in the top division. And, you know, we're talking about getting rid of the manager? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I've been watching City a, lo a long, long time and, uh, you know, uh, even before our uh, our previous successful era in the in the sixties, so um, it really is something that uh, you know you can only dream of if you've been a city supporter. A lot of people have just never experienced any uh, any success, uh, you know, supporting city. So my uh, my 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 sort of uh, call is, you know, just just you know, leave it, park the whole uh, the whole managerial stuff and just concentrate on backing the team up to try to, um, you know, sort of uh, uh, recover our momentum for the, uh, for the remaining four, uh, four games. Johnny, do you believe that we can then still get the top four? Oh, absolutely. There's, 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 no, uh, there's no question, you know, we, we've, uh, we've got uh, our main two rivals at home, uh, and if we win those two games, um, the odds are that we'll be in fourth place. And our record, losing uh, whatever it is, two, two this season at home, is, uh, you know, you would, you would bank on us actually, uh, you know, actually winning those two games, I think. I mean, looking at Villa today against uh, Portsmouth, they uh, really, really, no, really, we shouldn't have a difficulty with them. And Spurs, well, that'll be the big crunch game on the fifth, and, uh, uh, you know, although they've got the Indian sign over us, we, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's our turn, you know, our, our, you know, the thing back to the times we used to beat them 6-1 over it, wherever it was when, uh, when, when, when Peter Barnes was, uh, uh, knocking them in in the ice. So, yeah, uh, absolutely, that, that, that's gonna be the big game on, 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 on the, uh, you know, the, the game against Spurs. And, uh, if we can do the business against Philly, it doesn't, uh, really, beating Arsenal on Saturday, I think is uh, would would be useful, but uh, you know it's not it's not it's not essential. What we really need to do is to uh, is to win those two home games. Johnny, a quick prediction then for for the Arsenal game at the weekend. How do you think that's going to go? Well, you know, I was uh, again, I was I was a bit shocked to, to see them uh, sort of uh, collapse against Wigan. Uh, I think we 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 know what to do with Arsenal. We know they're missing some really key players. Um, hopefully we can feel that a strong side. We've not really, apart from Lescott, got any major injury uh, injury problems. So I just, I, I'd back us to uh, uh, at least get a draw there. Come, come and, on, uh, come on, Johnny. We want we want a score. Come on, you've got to give us a score. <laughs> you want a score? Okay, uh, let's go for uh, let's go for one nil then. Oh, we're going for a win. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for one. Oh, I win. like I like that. I like uh, that. Uh, just, uh, you know, um, uh, but, but the, 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 the main thing is to get behind Mancini and get, um, and get our, uh, 
and, and get our heads sort of around the, the, the possibility, the uh, probability, in my view, that we'll be uh, in the Champions League next year. And that will change everything. Johnny, thank you very much for your phone call.